Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2. I'm Peter Moxling, Keeper of the Archives, and last time we had a guerrilla ops mission that went so poorly that I ended up restarting the mission so that our primary sniper didn't die because of just the absurdity of that pod placement. Full turn! Oh, there's an admin pod over here. We're totally uncool. We're totally cool, but we gotta be careful about it. Okay, let's just Icarus jump up here so that we have a uh, good vantage on them. And oh, hey, the Archon pod spotted us. Okay, let's deal with this for a bit. We can recover. Okay, almost handled. Not doing great, but handled. And here come the, date the gatekeeper and two more Archons. Okay, <laughs> it was such a weird mission. Actually, really simple, or like really short once all that was contained. But getting to that point kind of glosses over a couple of pretty important details there. Anyway, so we have two that are injured, and one is just our spark forever. We also have our, our ranger out for two days, so once she comes back, I think we're good to do some plot mission stuff. Let's see, currently the research is just data pad because we have nothing else we can be doing. What can I do for you, Commander? Items... We could build some of this, but whatever. Weapons, we have everything. Armor, we could get these, but whatever. Okay. Grill tactics. Getting these might not be the worst at this point, honestly. Like, we also have the discount. Blanked enemies deal plus, t plus three damage. Swords have a bonus 15% chance to crit. I do like using the Ranger Sword a lot. We're not doing any research into any new tech or anything, so actually, what are we saving for? I suppose we're saving for, like, uh, upgrade here? Upgrade, 100. Go ahead. Upgraded. So we can now take you off of this. We put you here. Then you go to here. And once that's done, we can then pretty much auto-upgrade it and then put the second one there. And yeah, that'll probably take like 150 or something, I guess. Maybe 200, in which case, sure, we'll go sell slash buy to, get, to build up to that. And other, and other than that, what are we actually doing? Lab we don't need, power relay we don't need, defense matrix we don't need, resistance comm we don't need. We just don't need to fill these out. Like, we can get more power, we can get more power, we can... Get another PSYOP going. Okay. Supplies, not now. I was building this relay. For Western United States. That. Carry on. Now yeah, let's have engineer. I know. Go. Cool. Gremlin, good. Upgrade. 125. Insufficient power. Okay, I can deal with that. Upgrade. Illyrium. Go ahead. And now we need more money, but it's 125, I said it was? Yeah, 125. Okay. Get up the black market for a moment. Avenger plotting new course. Just a quick jaunt over from Washington or whatever to is Egypt is a little more to the west, actually. Or east. Yeah. Over to North Africa. Over that. You know what? We don't have a backup ranger. Go ahead. Just totally on the fly, let's go buy a person. Resistance communications facility upgraded. And Gremlin. Go ahead. And we now have 19 contacts. So the real question here is Do we build uh this person? Nobusato. I think that was a dude. Do we build you as another sword master, or do we build you as a scout? Given that you are very much just a replacement for our primary uh, ranger here, I say we just build you as another sword guy. So, Blade Master. 
shadow step. Uh, do not trigger reaction fire. Go ahead, sure. Run and gun. Still good. I keep forgetting to use that with Paladin, actually. <laughs> so rarely useful, but I, even in that last mission, that would have been useful. Run and gun to get closer to the officer. Or not the last mission, but the one before that with uh, the retaliation mission. Gotta remember, I have run and gun. Anyway, Blade Storm, hell yes. Untouchable, hell yes. Reaper, hell yes. And we can deal with the other stuff later. Well, we now have a backup ranger, at least. Back over to here to, to finish building this. And once we're done with that and Paladin is back, let's go ahead and launch a plot mission. think I could have predicted this outcome. Research. It is intriguing. Yes, Commander. Data pad. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. And... Shredder gun. Okay. I do like me a shredder gun. It's just not super uh, exciting. One day left, so finish up this. Good. Okay. Black site data coordinates, codex brain coordinates, facility, facility. Let's do the black site coordinates because the codex brain coordinates is kind of what I view as the last thing before you really go into the last arc of the story because of what it reveals. I don't quite remember what what the forge here reveals, but I like ending or I like doing the forge before the other coordinates. So. 14 enemies. We got Officer, Lancer, Sectopod, Andromedon, Viper, Archon, Shieldbearer, Trooper. Yep, basically the only thing we're missing there is a Gatekeeper. Let's do this. Course for Sector 2, Australia. Yeah, I know. Which I didn't know that it required that, but noted. Okay, I still just really like the spark, so I want to take it into combat. Actually, what level are you at this point? Soldier abilities. You're the equivalent of a captain. Because that's major, that's colonel. God, this spark's a goddamn trooper if I'm taking it in with all this. Ranger. Pistolier. Grenadier. Utility items. Armor. Yeah, and then remove the three of you so I can bring in the three from before. Not you. Not you. Into there? No. You. And... Grenadier, so then this Grenadier. So I can take off their weapons, because that is not a thing I can just do with a button, with a button press. Your button is unequipped. Button, your weapon is unequipped. Load out. Yeah, that. Ranger. Truck shooter. And a deer. Okay. Load out. Rage armor. You have your weapon. You have da 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 da. Okay. Give you... The Serpent. You have the Shadow Keeper. Good. Keep you on Warden so you have your three slots here. Start by giving you Blue Screen. You know, let's give you a Blue Screen on this as well because we know there's Sectopods and Andromedons. So having at least a single EMP bomb seems really good. Let's give you... Talon. You, the Mimic Deacon. You're an Icarus already. Actually, if I give you the Warsuit, then we lose out, right? Yeah, we only have that. So let's, let's keep you in Warden. Give you back this so that you have your full hack ability. Let's give you the Warden then. Or the. No, not the Warden, the Warsuit. Load out. So we don't 
uh, intimidate vipers and we don't have a grapple or frostbite, but we do have an extra bomb. Uh, that's about it. Right, right, so I was thinking about the heavy weapons. The shredder gun. Whoop. Uh, you. You. Because then you shred with your gun, you shred with your uh, heavy weapon. I like having an explosive on you, I think. Also, can we change your colors? Uh, customize. Main. That. Secondary. That. Weapon. That. God, it looks so bad. <laughs> anyway. Because uh, we want to keep both these items on you because they're both useful. We like Tal on you for the crit chance, but that then shreds. You shred. You have a little bit of shred. You shred. But also rocket. Rocket. Bomb. Kind of sort of a bomb. You're not going to use your bomb, but whatever. And let's check weapons really quickly, just to make sure. Load out. Spear scope, spear autoloader, good. And we can't add any more. Yep. I swear, it might be a constant bonus or something that gets us the third weapon up, weapon slot upgrade or something. Cannot upgrade that. Mark three. Yep, yep. Yeah, I missed out on a Viper suit, but I don't think there are Vipers on this mission, and the grapple isn't hugely important. It, it can be useful, but it's not like a game changer. Loadout, advanced laser, and normal hair trigger. Let's change those out, actually. Advanced laser for superior laser for the increased crit chance. And hair trigger for superior stock, maybe? Honestly, I like the stock on the heavy, or on the, um, yeah, the heavy, the heavy plasma, because I don't know if blue screen applies with this, with the superior stock damage, but I don't know that it doesn't, and that could be useful. So currently we're on hair trigger. Do we have an advanced hair trigger? Looks like no. Okay. Keep going on that for now, then. Can't upgrade the shed... Right for the rifle. Can't upgrade the Shadow Keeper. And load out. Ah, glad I checked that. So this has advanced hair trigger and advanced scope. Hmm. It's difficult to say no to the scope. Uh, stock is like the one thing that would be a real competitor on that. Let's go with this. <laughs> it's weird to realize that you're not a colonel. You're not even close. But eh, I like what you can do. Because you inherently shred. You have good damage. And your rocket is really good. I think we're good to be able to at least take this off. Let's give it a shot. I did put blue screens on someone, right? Yeah, I think I put it on the heavy. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. As far as we can tell, this forge is some sort of alien production facility, most likely tied to that stuff we found at the black site. Advent and the alien forces won't be happy to see us, so expect heavy resistance. We have to do whatever it takes to find out what's going on in there. Nice and simple. We don't know what's happening, so we have to figure out what's happening, stop it, probably, and get the hell out. Operation Firefall, aka the Advent Forge. Let's go. Boop, boop. This is Avenger. The facility is in range. Move to investigate. Squad concealment active. Do we have to get back here? Oh no.
Yep, no way does this go wrong. Let's be behind full cover at least. Enemy squad located. Have they located us? No. They have to walk approximately six feet away. <laughs> it's not literally six feet. If, these, if, each, if each of these is like two meters or something, then that is a decent distance. Yeah, uh, they can flank us fairly easily. They just have to be able to see us first. You know what? It's full cover. Sure. Now, you can't use cover, so for now, let's just put you here. Your pistolier. Good copy. Moving on target. Probably moving a bit too brazenly here, but I think we're safe for this turn. Are you here because full cover? And it's easier for you to run through uh, versus what the grenadier can do. I think I heard the sect pod there. It's 14 enemies, I think it was. Oh, you just didn't move. Okay. I feel like this is going to go very badly when I, when I pop this pod, so I'm going to treat this kind of carefully. Headed there now. Okay, no immediate vision of anything. I'm totally sure what's up with this. Well, anyway, Moving to Overwatch. I guess set up kill zone. Uh, kind of a waste with only two enemies, but I'm very worried. You only have one shot. Go for the eighty-two here because uh, more health. Eight damage, good enough. That works. Hostile neutralized. And you're not having a good day, are you? I necked him. Okay. Yeah, at least move forward into half cover. All right, I'll go. Fighting hands, go ahead. There you go. And since we're already up here, this really isn't going to get much more vision, so go ahead and move to here. I'm going. Robot move forward. I can't move off of this unit. Oh no. I, I, I'm sorry, just the visual of the big ass fucking robot. Why did the sound stop? Big ass fucking robot hiding behind the little tower thing. Okay, how many do we have? Two, I think. No, no, just the one. I can handle that. Please work. Probably can't take control of it, but I'll take a stun here. Okay, I'll take the stun. Good. Would have gotten the control, but just barely. Okay, stunned for two turns. We've taken out two enemies. This is number three. Eleven after this. Got it. Ignoring uh, further reinforcements. Did the sky just break? Good to go. Start with blue screen. You don't have chain shots, so uh, move up so you move Whatever before shooting, say. just so you're closer and have better aim. 99. Three shred. Hit the plate. Toss me some ammo. You also have inherent shred, so go ahead. And you are colonel. You're a colonel. You and you. 
Oh, no one can level up, so, uh, go ahead. I think they might know we're here. Let's give everyone else a turn to kind of recollect and move this way a little bit. Then we'll Icarus jump the sniper over to here so that uh, she doesn't reveal... <laughs> when she reveals another pod by doing the jump, we are ready, is how I'm actually intending that to work. I'm going. Just... I'm gonna hope that was our mech. Yeah, I think that's just the bridge. You need to go across this way. Or like the opposite on uh, this side. Yeah, bridge there. Okay. Affirmative. Covering now. Affirmative. Already blew up. It's not blowing up a second time. You know what? Screw it. Just move forward. No need to ask twice. I could overwatch to make it safer, but realistically, we're good. Fire's getting worse here. No, it really isn't. It's going out. Okay, everyone else move up. Seems doable. Servos engaged. You to here. Roger that. No enemies, so everyone else should be pretty safe to move up to around the same location. No problem, boss. Overwatch. Overwatch. Go ahead and move up to here. No problem, boss. And you run up to, I guess, as far as you can go, basically. Okay. And Overwatch. Surprise enemy? No. Oh, wow. I I mix up my snipers, basically. I thought that you were way further back. You first, I guess. Just a moment. Yep, it's one bridge or the other, pretty much. And we're just kind of hoping there's no pod patrolling over here. There's probably one, and we'll probably have to deal with it later, but eh. Moving out. I heard those footsteps read. What? My only guess is that, th is that that's part of the sectopod. I, I can't get any closer. What the fuck am I looking at? I'm very confused, so I'm gonna just move on. I can handle that. Yeah, I hear that coming from over here. You reload first. It's killing time. I can handle that. You move up to be about in line. Then Overwatch. 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 Eh, move to here. Do this. And Overwatch. Yeah, it's not our spark. It's probably the Andromedon or a second sectopod. Because this is absolutely the kind of mission that could have a second sectopod. Oh, there are vipers. I thought I saw there were no vipers on this mission. Oh well. Oh dear god, I can do this. And I remember that this doesn't count as movement. This is so incredibly dumb. That I want to try to make it the killing blow. <laughs> oh god, I'm going to absolutely suffer from my own hubris in about two minutes. Can't jump here. Can theoretically jump here. Which seems incredibly dangerous. Well, not here, but to here, I guess. Yeah, that's just asking to reveal a pod over here, I think. But it does flank. 
I, I literally can't make it over here. You know what, game? Fair. I'll go here. Because it's a free movement and flanks the enemy. And there's a third enemy now. God damn it. Hi, Advent. Hi, you Archon. Can you panic, please? Okay. Yep, saturation does not reach nearly far enough. EMP, plasma. Plasma does not reach. 35% on that. Saturation does hit, at least. Can hit both of those. I think that ends the turn. I can't hit shit there, so sure. Bombard. Go ahead. Cool. Can't hack anything because the shell is still an organic. That is interesting. Don't do damage, but do destroy its cover. Try for a rage strike because it's free movement to get up here. And also destroys the cover, I think. Oh, it shreds. I didn't realize it actually shredded. Neat. Oh, God, you know I'm going to do it. <laughs> There's probably smarter ways to do this. But are there more enjoyable ways to do this? I'll make it clean. Start here. It's down. Got eyes on Advent Troop. I... Probably should have expected it. Whatever. Slash. You. These aren't They're Advent. Yes. Nailed And judging by the subject's condition, I would say it was recently manufactured. No wonder they just keep coming. Kind of kind of undermines the severity of the cutscene when you hear the enemy dying in the background. Target neutralized. Does not inherently shred. I'd say go for this. We have untouchable for one attack. There are three enemies over here, which isn't a great percentage. You know what? In that case, let's do a better combo. Okay. I actually need to think a little bit at this Whatever point. You say. From here, we can hit either... You know what, sure, let's not overcomplicate this. Just go for a kill. Does that kill or not? Because that kind of... Okay, that decides how that was going to go. In that case, we have Untouchable. Let's go to double full cover over here, if ne if necessary. We'll, we'll use our Ranger against the Andromedon if we need to, but let's see if we need to first. There, we have vision in from there. Whatever you say. 42%. Let's go for saturation to try to destroy. That car is going to blow the fuck up, isn't it? You're on yellow. Okay. 
plasma nade to destroy cover and shred armor. We could, but let's try not to. If I can set up kill zone here and the enemy comes out, that's really good. Because I was thinking, yes, we're on yellow here. But we can also fanfare. Actually, to, to fully kill the Andromedon, we might... Uh... Yeah, I think this is my best option, actually. And we could crit to kill it, too. Wasn't really thinking about that, but sure... And that counts for Reaper, because of course it does. Just move here to full cover. I don't want you getting acid on you. That's what I was hoping for. You got one. Doesn't quite do half. I think this is worth, though, to be honest. I'll explain in a moment. Because we can shadow fall. Three to six. Three at a minimum. Let's go for lightning hands first then. <laughs> Essentially, either shadow fall or lightning hands gets the kill. If it's lightning hands, we get to move a bit. If it's shadow fall, we get concealment. Okay. One down, thousands to go. Okay, no full cover, so let's at least get half cover in the right direction. Hello, Archon. At least we know where they are. Yeah, find some new cover. Honestly, this I'll take it. Okay, stun lancer on Overwatch, other one on Overwatch. Icarus jump on cooldown. You are not being targeted, so that'd be good to hit. Any chance you got stunned? Yes. Not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping that stunning it in the air would cause it to fall. Okay. We'll move you forward. Can't hit anything over there. Over the 70% then. Okay, took that down. You know that was good. You don't trigger Overwatch, I just realized. Uh okay. Move you forward at least. 46, Reaper on cooldown. But you know it doesn't have a cooldown. Untouchable! Yeah, I say the Overwatch is removed. Target neutralized. Right, doesn't count as, as a full cover. Okay. Unfortunately, I think that that one did Overwatch, but I can't see it, so I don't know where that Overwatch is. We need to move, though, so take the risk. Yep, as expected. Yeah, three damage. Oh, well. Let's fanfare against you. Or we could just kill you in one hit, that works too. Happy now. I've got something. We did three half opacity and unknown damage. Uh Lake Ava XCOM is so gloriously stupid. Yeah, you can move up at this point. And remember, the blazing pinions actually do have an AoE on them. It's probably just like a plus sign, like the uh, one square adjacent. God, that was annoying to realize, though. Reload. Don't need to reload. Don't need. Let's give everyone else a turn or so to catch up here. Also, uh, we had the two over here, then the sectopod for three. Andromedon, and I thought it was... 
Was it one or two vipers? I think it was just one. So that'd be five. The squad here, six, seven, eight. The squad here, nine, ten, eleven. There should probably be one squad of three remaining. Heading to that location. Peter, advanced mag, got it. Got the goods. Yeah, that's where the sniper is going to really fall off for how useful she is, unfortunately. For now, let's just overwatch her where she is, because there is some vision through the windows and door here. I'm on it. You move up to here. Maximum thrust confirmed. Up to here. Rolling out. Up to Good here. Cool. And up to here. No problem, boss. Affirmative. Covering now. Actually, can you, Icarus, jump inside? Yeah, no, it's, it really doesn't want you to, so no. That was a lower level to it. That's a nice little bit of design. Like, it, it's not a lower level of the map, it's just a part of the visuals. But, uh, good to know. Want you up to here. Everyone else kind of just fill in and reload as possible slash necessary. Rapid reload in progress. You have a free reload, so don't. And go ahead, just be safe. On approach. Locks and loaded. Yeah, sure then. I'm going. Moving to Overwatch. On Overwatch. Okay, we're about as ready as we're going to get. So let's start with the specialist then, just I'm to get going. vision in here. Okay, nothing yet. What would be really cool, although it would be annoying as a player, admittedly, would be if uh, doing exactly what I did there, like putting someone right on cover against one of these advent pods, would have like a low chance of causing panic. Like, they've seen these as enemies so often that just being close to them is enough to freak them the hell out. Moving. That was not the square I clicked on game. What's over there? That's affirmative. You into here. I'm going. And you come up into here. Moving out. Everyone else, Overwatch. Yeah, no, found the last pod. And I'm on a good angle for that. As much as I can be. I can handle that. No vision, so move everyone else kind of into that same line approximately. Proceeding to target. Alright, I'll go. You over to here. Whatever you say. Don't want to move past the specialist, so let's just move you to here. Affirmative. Moving out. Here is possible, but I'm a little bit worried that's gonna get vision all the way down. So let's just have a let's just have a lot of them kind of chill out for a turn here. Enemies on the move. Okay, so you're moving into here. On the plus side, uh, let's get vision over into this area first, then we'll move the sniper over to here. Start with this. Seems doable. Okay, in that case, you to here. No problem, boss. And you to here is the dangerous one. Got it. Okay. We're pretty much on Overwatch trap territory then. Moving on target. Yeah, sure, both snipers in this area. And you technically not in cover, but that's because you're going to run forward whenever I see them. God damn it, really? Are they circling the building? Here. Whatever you say. There we go. This is Avenger. Package is in range. I've got eyes on an advent position. No shit. You know what? This seems like a good time for this. Yeah. 
There are three enemies left, and I know where they are. Advancing. How about we just get rid of some walls here? Start with you. Then to you. Critical ammo levels. No, not your turn. Your turn. Let's go for Reaper. Go there. Now the other one. And now the hacker can do his job. Theoretically. Okay, no sure. Problem, boss. The mission start screen said that we need to carry someone out, so assumably there is a body bag in here that we'll then need to take over here somewhere. I really hope they give us the option to drop a new one of these, because otherwise, oh god. Where even am I? Uh, that direction. There we go. I actually lost track of where I was. On Overwatch. For now, let's move the pistol here. On Overwatch. Come get some Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay. Seems here. Doable. Press the button. Just like the one. Carefully! Preserve the specimen at all costs! Confirmed acquisition of the package. Oh, thank God. Oh, that. damn it. There's a door there. Can I... No. Damn. Stupid ceilings. Here I come. Eh, close enough. Let's put you over here, actually, just so you have full vision and everything. Let's put the specialist on duty for carrying the dude. I say the dude, I literally don't know what this is, actually, so... Let's just put you close enough so that you can bladestorm, essentially. You can get over here, so go ahead. Move, move, move! Got it! Pick up. Carry. I can take him. Let's be a little cautious with Whatever you for now. You I doubt that it's necessary, but, you know, just be safe about it. Well, congrats, you get a turn to exist. I'm not just going to delete you from existence yet. The downside is that you don't get a turn to do anything. You sure you want to leave the high ground? It's generally, uh, not a good idea. Movement engaged. Hi there. Target eliminated. Additional ammo. Oh, hey, you got a promotion. Good for you. Okay, let's move you this way first. No longer a threat. And you here. A little bit overkill, but cool. Which then means you don't have cover. And as such. Goodbye. Oh, you dodged. 
Good for you. You're so much better. Die. How many is that now? And run over here. I don't know if there's a way to climb up here or not. Probably this. Let's just go here then. Affirmative. Wait, I want to see this. How do you go up if you're carrying someone? Oh, just one-handed? Okay. Enemies moving on our position. Sucks for them. Bit too close for the gun to, for the uh, sniper to actually be useful, but I'm gonna give it a try. Confirmed. Position confirmed. You just go over here. I can handle that. I'm going. Reload. Preparing to re-engage. Evac, go ahead. That is confirmed. Target package in custody. I'm on it. Overwatch priority. Moving to Overwatch. Do not have kill zone, so just go ahead. Oh, it's up. Well, you're about to have a bad minute. Hi. Oh. Advent force is sighted. How did you miss? He was three feet from you! At least you have a sniper rifle. You know what? Fair is fair. Advent, you are earning your fucking pay today. Advent Captain, you're earning your pay today. Ah, oh, she ignores armor. Somehow, even in essentially melee combat, she is the best. Anyway, bye. That's why elevation is good. Taken care of. Anyway, you would hear. You'd hear. Let's do this. You'd hear. Just a moment. And you'd hear. Roger that. Evac. Evac. Instruction. Evac. Getting out of here. Yep. You. <laughs> Bit of a wonky button, Getting but whatever. And you. Ten four. Not quite the squad evac like what I try to do, but eh, it works. We've got what we came for. Let's get clear of the area. Oh, my turns taken wasn't green for once, because I, you know, slow rolled it. One wounded, which I think is the mech, because it came in wounded, so like the game doesn't account for so, so uh, the game doesn't account for if soldiers come in already flagged as wounded, I think. Unless I'm forgetting something, which is entirely possible. Like, all in all, that was pretty damn close to a flawless mission. Successful shots, 100, I... Apparently overwatches don't count in that. Good to know. Yep, slow rolled, so only 1.17 enemies clip per turn. Cover is what it always is. Almost damage, paladin, made most attacks. Sophie, big, big country... It's not you, obviously. I think that's you, most under fire. Who's furthest is the chief, of course. Big country, is that you? Maybe. Mamos attacks like Yeah, Reaper, I could see that then. There we go. Oh, you actually got shot at! Hey, I forgot about that. Fair enough. I guess my previous thing about uh, the wounded flag is not actually accurate. 
Anyway, you are now a major equivalent. Okay, so... Along the future combat path, Spark... Or no. Oh, right, because I accidentally uh, glanced over some stuff. Why the hell is it Spark in Overdrive? Oh, because it's up here. Duh. It, nope, not all I need to do it this way. Fair enough. Okay, so long, uh, future combat. Channeling field. Every time you are targeted, part of your energy, part of the energy is channeled to your Illyrium phase cannon. This energy is unleashed with your next standard shot. So, every time you're shot at, you get plus one damage up to some maximum. The energy is stored, the energy stored is expanded even if it misses. Okay. Not sure what the limit is. I would guess like three or something. But also that, so you get stronger as you get shot at. I don't particularly want to get shot at, though. Versus Hunter Protocol, when an enemy is revealed, there is a 33% chance to take a free Overwatch shot. I'll be honest, neither of these are really that useful in my mind. I just realized that our robot has will. Okay, moving on. Because, <laughs> like... This is the more direct damage one that I'd probably get more use out of, but it requires you to get shot at. And, uh, my mech here has been damaged for, like, three missions now. Hunter Protocol is the one that I'm less likely to really make use of, but... Eh, let's be real, I keep popping pods by accident. That actually could end up being useful. Hell, I wish I could give you an expanded mag at this point. Yeah, realistically, Hunter Protocol. Is there any yeah, specifications? Scouting into the fog of war, since any real enemies can be instantly attacked. Alright, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Hunter Protocol. And that is it. Chrono, 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 Chrono. Yeah, it's the only one that could promote. Within the confines of the suit we recovered, we have found what could very well be the prototype for Advent's seemingly limitless forces. Even focusing my efforts solely on this research, it will take a significant dedication of time and resources to fully analyze this specimen. Damn, it'll be like an entire five days then. Kind of undermines how serious it is when you realize that that's actually probably accurate. <laughs> anyway, Avan Stasis suit, one repeater, and one and one advanced expanded mag. So no other like loot from the, from the mission. Although we get like what 175 supplies or something out of it too. Yep, new new um shadow chamber research. Your findings at the thought, forge yeah. facility are disconcerting, Commander. If the aliens are somehow assembling or growing the Advent forces in mass, our efforts to defeat them will be that much harder. I will leave you and your team to pursue this further. Recover the stasis suit. Reduced avatar progress by two. Yay! New objective added. Yep. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. Yep, and I will take care of that next time. But that is it for the mission, and that's the episode. So, if this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do all that YouTube stuff for a million times. I hope you have a wonderful remainder of your day, and I hope to see you in the next one where we will start up the uh, next Shadow Chamber project, and we will continue going through the main brunt of the uh, plot missions to get through to the, to, the end, to the end of the game. Since this is probably the mission that's going up on Friday, I believe, it is entirely possible that we will be finishing up the game next week because I'm just kind of bull rushing plot stuff at this point because I have all the research and I have my kernels and everything. So realistically, I have no reason to not just do the plot until we finish. So make sure to watch next week if you are interested because we're going to begin to the end, I think, week after that at worst. Anyway, come back next time to find out, as I will as well. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye.